everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I've got two products to show you today from Manfrotto that are especially going to be of interest to you if you're either into photography or even video as well. Now the first one is this really nice tripod. Uh, this is uh, labelled up as a 755CX3. It's actually part of their uh, 055 range. It's a 055 X Pro B carbon fiber tripod. Now you can see it in its closed format at the moment, so that gives you an idea of the closed size. Uh, the closed length is actually 65.5 centimeters. So it's not a mega compact tripod, uh, but it's superbly light. Um, the actual weight of it, and I've got to refer to my notes because there's so, so many specifications on this. It's 2.4 kilograms in weight, so nice and easy to carry around, stick on your backpack or whatever if you're taking it out and about, or for in-studio use, it's, it's superb as well. Now, open and closed heights, you can see in its closed format at the moment, 65.5 centimeters, the maximum height of this, uh, with the center column down, so without this portion extended, is 142 centimeters. The maximum height, so it's with all of the legs extended, and the centre column extended is 178.5 centimetres and it can hold a camera up to 7 kilograms in weight which is round about the 15 pound mark so a very hefty camera uh, capacity on the top section. Now I'm going to get this set up and loaded up with a camera but I want to show you the second product uh, that I'm going to be reviewing alongside this now I'm into video making as you know, I've got my camera set up on a tripod now. With this Manfrotto tripod you don't get a head so you can choose all different sort of head combinations for it. And I have got this photo movie head. Uh, it's actually part of the same range, so it's part of the 055 range. It's called the Magnesium Photo Movie Head Q5. Now this is going to add on a bit of cost to your purchase. <clears throat> but inside the box you've got an instruction manual uh, this is uh, going to extend the height of that tripod by another 13 and a half centimeters it weighs 1.3 kilograms which is 2.8 pounds and it will accommodate the same 7 kilogram weight now the instructions are really good because they show you how to set everything up I'm going to just give you a little look before I mount this on top of the tripod we've got this extension arm here which is used for controlling the head. And I'll show you that up a little bit closer in a short while. We also get this, which is used for attaching that control arm. And then we get the head itself. Let's show you this, this is absolutely fantastic. And again, I'm gonna show you this closer up a little bit later in this video. But I just wanna show you what you get inside the, the box of goodies. This is the head itself, look at that. Let me give you a little uh, close up of that straight away. So, so excited to um, be able to bring you this review of this product. So this is a little close up for you on this head. Very, very well constructed. It mounts to the tripod uh, via this sort of threaded mount here. We've got a quick release plate on the top. Uh, plain, look at how many bubble levels or spirit levels you've got in there. One there on this side. You've got another one round here and you've got another one on the corner. Just an absolutely fantastic piece of engineering and you've got lots of controls on it. This is really designed for photo or movies. Again, I'll show you this in close up uh, once it's mounted on the tripod, but we've got this little sort of switch here which switches it from photo to video mode. Such a beautifully made piece of kit. So let's get this all set up and then you can uh, have a closer look at it in action. Now before I show you that photo movie head, I just want to show you the actual construction of this tripod. It is absolutely superb. We've got the three sections all the way down to the bottom here. So I'm only using two sections at the moment. Rubberized feet right on the bottom. Really nice carbon fibre. We've got this uh, mechanisms here which we pull these latches open to allow the legs to extend. And if I move further up the tripod, just on here we've got these little clips and you actually push these clips in and it allows you to angle the legs at different angles and then they lock into place. 
And if I just show you just round the back here, we've got a little turny bit just here. And this screw uh, that you turn in and out allows you to raise and lower this centre column. So this is the bottom of the centre column just under here and it allows you to get some extra height on your camera. And then moving on up, this is the bit I'm going to concentrate on for you now. This is the photo movie head. So here you can see the control arm that I've got for the camera that I've attached to the sort of back side of the tripod as you see it now. And this allows me to pan the camera sort of left and right, pan the camera up and down as well. And I can control the friction of this with this control dial here. So I can lessen off the friction and it makes it really easy to manoeuvre or I can put more friction on and that gives me more resistance to panning the camera around. Now let me just give you a close up of some of the other bits and pieces on this tripod. Now if I turn around to this angle here for you, you can see on the front here we've got a red uh, control switch. This has got the labels movie and photo on it. Now it's in movie mode at the moment and what that means is that I can't move the camera on, on this plane so it won't move off of a level plane and this is ideal for movie work because all you're going to be concentrating on is panning around and capturing that shot. If I want it in photo mode I just flick the switch round and then I can actually move the camera around into different angles here and the friction on this is controlled by this control knob here so I can tighten it up so it's harder to move or loosen it off to make it easier to move. Now there's also a pan lock as well so at the moment I can pan things round and just here just at the bottom of your shot uh, you can see there's another control here and I can actually lock that into place and now I can't pan to the left or the right. Let me just loosen that off again though and show you right round the back here there is another control and this one here is called CBS and this one is a counterbalance system so I can actually engage CBS by turning it and if I had a heavy lens, a big heavy lens on the front then it would, it would do a counterbalance on it and stop it from keeping on sweeping up and down so a great deal of control and if I go all the way around I'll just show you this sort of reverse side of the photo movie head this is what you're presented with on the reverse side so you can see you've got uh, full control over up and down movement as well with all the degree angles marked again everything marked in here this is a brilliant movie head this is absolutely fantastic so what you've seen in this video is the 055 X Pro B tripod uh, just underneath this photo movie head and that's going to cost you around about £130 in the UK $190 if you're in the US and then this bit, this really impresses me this is the 055 Magnesium Photo Movie Head uh, model Q5 absolutely superb, I'll tell you I love all of the features on this especially uh, this um, photo movie switch so I can go from using it for photography and then I can lock that in place and know that my camera is on a level playing field it's absolutely fantastic it does cost £269 for the head in the UK $369 so it's not cheap but you do get what you're paying for in this game and this Manfrotto uh, photo movie head is just well I'm so impressed it is an absolutely beautiful piece of kit if you can afford it, you're serious about your photography and your video work, it's well worth paying for. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel. All the links below this video for these two products and obviously a link to uh, my other channel page and also my Twitter so you can get my regular updates. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.